Good morning, children. Uh, it's Thursday. I hope you're all well. I am. Um, it's not too long left. We've got a week and two days now. Four year four. Uh, well done to those of you that are still completing all of the work. It's fantastic. I know I've got some children in my class that have completed every piece of work that's that's ever been set. So that's amazing. You should be really proud of yourselves. And it will, of course, help you when you come back in September. So let's get on to today's lesson. I'm going to do a bit of writing today about your goblin. So I just want to remind you of the four facts about a grass goblin because you'll see what I've done in a moment. I've taken the four facts and I've created a paragraph about them. Um, so these were the facts. They can often be found in green, in, sorry, in gardens, not green. They like stealing garden gnomes. Grass goblins love to eat red and yellow roses. And they're very good at making slime and leaving it in gardens. So what I've done with those sentences, children, is I've turned them into a paragraph. Um, so let me read you the paragraph first, and then I'll explain to you how I've done it. Unsurprisingly, the vast majority of grass goblins can be found in gardens because they love to eat red and yellow roses. Interestingly, most grass, green, grass goblins, I keep saying green, interestingly, most grass goblins like stealing garden gnomes and leaving behind their slime. So, now that I've finished up saying green, I have created this paragraph using some special words okay so the red words are the adverbs unsurprisingly and interestingly um, i've also used some conjunctions because an and and they were to link the two sentences together uh, so I, I linked the garden sentence which is number one and uh, their love of eating yellow and red roses together using because and I linked the second sentence, which was stealing garden gnomes, and leaving slime sentences together using and. Sorry, as you can see, I forgot to mention about the adverbs. I have used a comma at the start. They are pointed adverbials. And then finally, I've added some generalizers. Now, we have looked at generalizers before when you were writing about your aliens. So I've used the vast majority, which means nearly all of them, and most, which again means, means nearly all of them. And I've also written in the present tense, as if it's happening now. So what I would like you to do today is change these four sentences, about the cupboard goblin, change them into a paragraph, turn them into a paragraph. And I want you to do that using adverbs. I've got some examples here for you. Generalizers, so a few, several, many, all, a small number of, you could also have a large number of. And you could join two of the sentences together, possibly, or just create longer sentences using uh, because, when, as, if, or despite. And these are your subordinate conjunctions. So you could use these to, uh, sorry, add them together or create longer sentences. Now, when you open up your to-do today, it will look like that. So I have typed up the old sentences for you. These are the ones that you need to turn into a paragraph. So you can just click there press enter twice and then you can begin typing so you may start off with amazingly uh, no not amazingly surprisingly no it's not really surprising that cupboard goblins live in cupboards really is it so interestingly most cupboard goblins live in food cupboards because of this they are excellent at cooking so there's just one example now 
I think you will all be more than capable of doing this very well because we've had such good practice when we were doing Alien. So I don't foresee you having any problems today with this and I look forward to reading uh, paragraphs that you create. So remember to use the adverbs, the generalizers, and of course, the conjunctions. If this is hard to see at the top, what you could do is go back to the video and pause it. When I'm on this page, you could press pause now, and then you could have that open on your internet and that open on your internet, and you could just look, keep looking back at both of them. Okay, good luck with today's work. I don't think you'll need it. Uh, take care, all of you. Goodbye.